how the Republic of Turkey is progressing and trying to, you know, uh, become more of a sovereign nation every day, even though it fails sometimes. So I had to do a thesis project for my um, college, and they told me, what do you want to do? I said, well, let me think, you know, what, what inspires me the most? And I said, growing up, it was always Ataturk on the battlefield. And there was one story in particular that really affected me. It was the story where Ataturk gets shot by a shrapnel and his pocket watch literally protects his heart from getting impaled. And this story is special in the sense that it's not really known to a lot of audiences, but the main thing is that if that bullet went through his heart, there would be no Ataturk, and we would probably be in a darker time, probably imperialized by many powers, some sort of pie that's been cut up by the Western powers of Europe. And I said, okay, this is gonna be the story that I will do. It is a work in progress, but I'm thinking of, you know, furthering the production of the movie for this whole year and to submit it to festivals next year because I want the whole world to know about Ataturk because he's not just important for Turkey, he's a son of humanity. He did it for all of us. And none of us would be here without this man. And the main thing that really affects me is that people are trying to destroy his legacy right now. But I tell them, you can't level a mountain, you can only level rocks. And that's what my movie is about. It's for all lovers of freedom, prosperity, and sovereignty. Enjoy.